here, check the alleyway! Do you see anything? Negative, let's check the other side. should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. W wait. Just... <sighs> stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but... If I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Bruce is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor- Will be fine. And if he fires, he just come to work for me. Deal? Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. 
Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. You're stunned, but we've barely scratched the surface. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to, say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Well, you dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're nothing like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. Well, we can talk about it later. The city needs you alert now. I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now.
Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. There. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I, I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. <laughs> Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. Uh, no need to say anything. Just know I'm grateful. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door! You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha! Do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years.
At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Sorry, As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. You'll do. Get out of here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My double brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go me. on, love. You know what to do. So that moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. When you incinerate the pool, you have to get involved in a damn job. 
Thomas Wayne! That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it! Don't want me back, my poor old mum. So this is for her. You won't let you kill anyone else! Wait your turn, Dent! <laughs> Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up! Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let Dent go! And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Mr. Dent. 
back in the mask! City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne, Lieutenant, he's lucky. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? Well, look for the blood. There. <laughs> Can I go for? Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes.